Good afternoon, guys. It's Jaeger262, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, long time no see for the modelers. I've been doing a lot of Armored Warfare stuff lately, but because it is the 27th of July and I'm running out of time to do my Age of Sigmar Lord of Plagues for the uh, contest I'm painting it for, there's a uh, each month Warhammer puts out like a little painting contest on their social media. I was going to submit this, and now I'm running out of time. <laughs> so, not much has changed, because I actually ended up painting two Plague Marines, which are these guys over here. I don't know if I can get the camera to look at them. Yeah. I painted those guys, the two Death Guardsmen, and I'm still doing work on those. Obviously, they're very bright and very clean right now, like they should not be. At the paint day, so I didn't do any work on the Lord of Plagues. I'm having some trouble getting the right colors and mixtures for the horns there on him. But today's video I'm going to do, and I might be doing a lot more off camera depending on how quickly I can paint, it's just going to be how to rust the axe. And so without further ado, I'm going to just jump right into that. And first things first, we're going to be using Vallejo's Rust Texture. Now this is a very dark brown, gritty pigment. It actually has little bits of pigment inside the paint, kind of like a typhus corrosion from citadel their technical paint and then i will be dry brushing using this very thin orange rust color and then for the heavily oxidized parts i will be using the citadel oxide <laughs> it's good that it's called that i don't know why my camera won't focus on any of them there the nile uh, oxide technical paint and it'll be three easy steps. Hopefully it'll go by really, really quick. And I will be able to show you how it looks like. Now, as I already mentioned, as you can see here, I've pre-done some of the parts of the ax with burnt umber. And that's where I'm going to focus my pigment on. I'm going to be putting it there first. Uh, hopefully if I can find some of it. It's really thin pigment so it's hard to get right out of the pot but if you do use it's the same exact thing as typhus corrosion which I have and I might use that but essentially once it's dried we will be able to see that it actually has physical rust in there and so it just adds a three-dimensional look to the rust I don't think I got any pigment on here. I'm trying to apply it with a toothpick because this will get into the ferrule of your brushes and kind of wreck them. So I would not recommend using this with any good brush. Maybe use it with a uh, an older brush or something. And you're just going to put it liberally around some of these places where rust would build up. I've used this to great effect on my armor models, but I've never tried it on one of these, and it might not have enough of that pigment concentrated there to really apply with a toothpick. So I'm going to change it up and see if Typhus Corrosion actually works any better. Got to shake that pigment up really good, get it off the bottom of the pot here. see if this is yeah okay so it's almost the same exact consistency as the Vallejo one so we'll see yeah trying to dredge up as much pigment as I can from the bottom and with both, but mostly what I've seen as something that's been really good with this one is that what you're going to want to do is build it up slowly. So you can see I have quite a bit of the Vallejo one already down on the axe. I'm just going to be putting this into more of the holes and more of the um, notches in the axe here and there. 
to sort of build up this 3D rust effect. Okay, that's a little bit too much right there. But you can kind of see it on this one that there is some grit in there, some sand. That's pretty much just what we're going to do, and we're going to continue doing that a couple of passes over and over just to really, really build it up. I want this to be a heavily rusted weapon. Obviously, he's a Lord of Plagues. But if you can, hopefully it'll focus here. You can kind of see the little particles of grit and sand along the rust and so this looks really good so far i'm going to do the rest of the axe the underside of the axe and the top here and then the next thing will be to dry brush it with the rust orange color all right so now that that's done and you can kind of see kind of see this thing the camera's not really picking it up but now that that's done we're going to use vallejo's model air orange rust and normally I would actually just airbrush this on for a really nice effect, but because I don't want to give you what max masking, excuse me, and just, you know, firing up the airbrush, I'm going to try to dry brush it, although this is going to be a very hard paint to dry brush as it is so thin. Let's see what we can do. So yeah, you can kind of see here and there that it, the color slowly being built up to become a richer orange, like actual rust. And we're going to try to continue to build up that orange color. And yeah, as you can see, I quickly abandoned the uh, the dry brushing uh, approach here. Uh, as this is an incredibly thin paint, it is n near impossible to get a good dry brush out of it, in my opinion. And so I would just be applying it directly to the areas in both as an overall filter and then as a focus pin wash.
just trying to not only make the axis chrome a little bit warmer and rustier, but really build up the orange along the corroded areas. Here, and then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back in and do a silver highlight in some places. This to further break up the uniform look of this, especially like on the blade. And I will be doing some dry blood on the blade. If it works out that way, it might not. And just some rust color on the axis spikes here. Just to make that look a little worn as well. And that's pretty much it for this step. And from there, I will do the oxide and then, or the highlight and then the oxide, but that's really just gonna be covered in the same, same step. All right, last but not least, we'll be using the Citadel Nylac Oxide Technical Paint. And now this is for any oxidization of iron and it's used for darker colors like a brass or copper color on the miniatures. And while my whole axe was originally chrome, because I want it to look very old and very decayed, I will be using this just to highlight certain parts of my axe. But I realized that many people mostly use this on brass armor bits. And that is what it's intended for. I'm just choosing just to add some flavor to my particular miniature, that's all. Just trying to highlight some of the more silver areas throughout. There's any really left? There's probably there's not too many left. So it's a very thin paint, almost like a a shade or a wash. Just going to be putting it in random places around the more worn or bitten crevices of the axe. And then after this, I'll be applying a dark rust wash into all the crevices just to finalize the process and to knock out all of that shade there that is not supposed to be there, but has just filled the holes with this blue color. And so it gives it a very nice worn look on the axe and it fits everything perfectly and so in the last step I'm going to again do the dark rust wash and then you'll see the whole thing completed. Alright we're going to apply a very concentrated dark rust wash. That's like I said intake these holes here to some of the other places around. There, they got too much of the filter and just again to kind of uniform the surface and keep it on the warmer side.
All right, and there you have it. Well, if it'll focus. Oh, well, there we go. That is the completely rusted Lord of Plagues axe. And I will be using the same rust techniques to do the chain mail and to do the little gold emblems below him. But for now, that is it. Just wanted to get this video out and really show you just some new techniques I'm testing personally and how I wanted to rust the axe and really make it look grimy. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And or subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more Lord of Plague updates. And as always, I will see you next time.